All right, so I want to go over my trades for the first two weeks of May. So usually I try to do every week, but I mean the first week of May was pretty low. So I'll just combine the first two weeks. So which uh, so the first week ending May 7th and the second week ending May 14th, uh, which gave me a total of 554 for both weeks. So I had about eight trades that I closed and I'm gonna go through them. So the first trade here was Upwork. So that was a naked put at a 35 strike that I opened April 20th. So now if I go to the chart here, UPWK, and I that said April, April 20th, okay. So Upwork, let's look at one month. April 20th is around here. So you could see that I sold that 35 put when the stock dropped it, it was trading at around 49 46 when it dropped to 43 that's when i sold that 35 put i sold it for a dollar five so it wasn't that much but the 35 strike was still pretty far so i sold it for a dollar five right over right over here and then um on may 5th uh, i got out of the trade i closed the trade so as you can see it was trading at around the same thing I actually had a chance to close it around here when the stock went up. I had a chance to close it for 35 cents, but I think I was trying to maybe let it expire worthless because of commissions, of course, it was gonna eat up uh, the profits. But the, when it started dropping, I thought I felt like it would be safer to just maybe, I think it dropped after earnings. So I decided to just close it in case something bad happens. And I'm actually, I, I, I'm glad I closed it because as you could see, it dropped even more afterwards in the uh, in the upcoming weeks. So good thing I closed it, and that was that gave me a net profit of um, fifty fifty three dollars. Next here we've got Twilio. This was a put spread for earnings, so you can see I opened it May fifth, closed it May seventh. So it was a put spread at a three hundred strike, three hundred three hundred two ninety five strike, collected a dollar ten. And now if you look at the Twilio chart, so that one was a little bit stressful because Twilio actually, oh, right now it's at 299, but if we look at earnings, it was May, I said May 5th to May 7th. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do the one month chart. So May 5th, the stock is trading at 339. So I sold the 300, 295 put spread. So I'm 40 points away. And then after earnings, it dropped, it, it breached 300. I, I'm pretty sure it, uh, dropped below 300 but then it slightly came back up as you can see here it's trading at 307 and the expiry was the next day so I held on to it and on Friday it opened at around 316 as you can see here and I was able to close it for 30 cents now I could have left it and expired worthless I would have kept the full dollar 10 but when you're when it's this close sometimes it's just better to close the trade for a profit so that you don't regret it Plus, it's hard to manage a put spread that gets breached. So I ended up closing it, and that gave me a net profit of $67 US. I'm just going to zoom in here so that the chart is easier to see. Yeah, this is better. All right, so if I go back to my trades, next trade here was Peloton 75 put. So remember when Peloton dropped hard because they recalled a bunch of treadmills? So let's look at the chart here. So that happened, let's say, yeah, right here. Yeah. So you could see Peloton was trading around 95, 96, and then it dropped to low 80s because of that uh, recall news. So at that point, it also had earnings the same week. So what I did is I sold a 75 put. Now, it wasn't the best entry because this same put was trading for about $2.50 the same day that I sold it for $1.20. So that was my entry, wasn't the best, but I got $1.20 out of it. And then I, hel I held on to it till after earnings. And after earnings, Peloton went up a little bit, 87. And, and then it came back down. But obviously, that was enough for me to close that put because it, was, it had a May 7th expiry. So that $1.20 was worth pennies afterwards the next day. So as you can see, open May 5th, closed May 7th. So that gave me, I was able to close it for five cents. So that gave me a $103 profit on that, on that Peloton trade. Next, we've got Palantir. So this was also an earnings trade. 
uh, but I played it as a covered call in my RSP, but it's basically the exact same thing as a, a short put or a naked put at an 18 strike, collecting a dollar. So making my cost 17, my break even 17. Uh, so that's basically what I did for me to win on this trade. Palantir has to be above 18 come expiry of May 14. So Palantir the next day, I think it went up a little bit. I was able to close the trade for 17.9. So I got in for 17. I got out for 17.9. So it's as if I sold a naked put for a dollar and I bought it back for 10 cents. So that gave me $90 gross profit. So after commission, that gave me $78 uh, profit. So that's on Palantir. And so that's from May 10th to May 11th. So let's look at the chart for Palantir, PLTR. So I think we could do five days. So May 10th, you could see I got in around here. So the stock was trading in the, uh, actually the order got filled, I think at end of day. So it was trading at around 18. And then the next day Palantir is trading above 19, almost to $20. I closed it the next day. So I closed it around here. But then after that, there was a, the tech sell off. It dropped all the way down to 18, even below 18. So it dropped to 17.83. But then it closed on Friday above $20. So I could have held on to it till Friday and would have made an extra $10. But uh, it wasn't worth holding an extra four days not knowing what would happen. So I'm glad I got out of this trade. No, pro no regret there. $70 profit. Next, I've got Tattooed Chef. It was a covered call in my RSP. Now, this wasn't an earnings trade, but I held on to it until earnings. And then after earnings, I was able to get out of the trade for $16.80. So I got in for $15.80. I, I got out for $16.80. So that's a $1 profit. After commissions, that's $88 net profit. So it's like, once again, it's like a naked put as if I sold the 17.5 put for about $1.70. Uh, and then I bought it back for 70 cents. So that gives me a profit of a dollar. Next year, I've got my SPY put spread. So if you watched my previous video my, on my portfolio update, I explain in that video my put spreads on the SPY. So that's what this is here. It's two SPY put spreads that I ended up closing at the same time, May 14, just to save on commissions. Because it's the same underlying, I can group it in one trade. So I save on that opening uh, opening trade fee, which is $5 if you have active trader pricing. So I grouped them together. I actually closed them for 65 cents, but because I grouped them together, so I saved $5. So for the purpose of my spreadsheet, I just removed 5 cents from one of them. So that together, they gave me a net profit of $64. And next year, I've got Peloton 90 put that I opened April 19. So I actually opened this before Peloton dropped hard after that uh, recall announcement. So I had the 90 strike April 19. So let's look at the chart here for Peloton, P-T-O-N. So we're gonna have to take the one month chart here, April 19, I said, right? So I see, so see Peloton was trading at 116 and then when it dropped to about 105, to me it looked like a good entry, so I, sold the 90 put for May 21st, but then I was never able to close it. I sold it for $3 initially. So if you look up here, you see that I initially sold it for $3, okay? And then it kept dropping. The stock kept dropping, was never able to close it. And then it dropped even more. It dropped to 82 at some point. So basically my 90 put got breached completely. So it was in the money. And then earnings was coming up. So I decided to roll it before the earnings announcement because if earnings were bad and the stock dropped even more, my 90 put would be hard to manage. So I decided to roll it as is to June just to collect an extra credit. So this is why the expiry here says June and this is why there's an extra $2.10 over here because I rolled it before earnings. So I basically collected a total of $5.10 from this 90 put which puts my break even at $85 for Peloton. But then after earnings, Peloton went up a little bit. It kept coming, it, it kept 
going up and down, but it, it and overall it went up. And then this week it went even higher. It went to ninety five dollars. So even though my June eight my expiry was June eighteen, because I collected a total of five dollars, I was able to close the trade early because it was trading for four dollars. So I closed it for four dollars because I collected a total of five dollars and ten cents. So that gave me a one dollar and ten cent profit. So after commissions, that gives me ninety eight dollars net profit. So if initially I had the three dollar I had the three dollar credit, I probably would have closed at around two dollars or maybe a dollar fifty. So instead I ended up collecting a total of five dollars and close it for four dollars, still giving me that one dollar that I normally look for. Yeah, so these were my close trades for the first two weeks of May, giving me a total of 554 US. So now let's look at the PL. So this is what my PL looks like in terms of closed trades. Of course, this doesn't include unrealized uh, losses. This is realized gains and losses. So April wasn't so good, closed at 1579. May is not, it's, it's not starting too well either. Looks like it's going to be similar to another April. Uh, 554 for two weeks, so that's about 250, 275 for per week. Yeah, so it looks like it might even be lower than April. But yeah, so these are my uh, trades for for the first two weeks of May. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And like always, if you're going to open an account with Questrade to trade on the stock market or sell options, use my referral link below to get $50 in free commissions. If you want to join the Trade Alerts group as well, it's a WhatsApp group where I send these trades live as soon as I do them. Link is in the description below. The group is $25 a month and you'll get my trades as soon as I place them and not just a recap afterwards. Plus, you can ask questions and I'll answer them through uh, via WhatsApp. But you have to be comfortable with the terminology, with the uh, strategy. So you know what a naked put is, you know what a covered call is, what put spreads are. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button, share with a friend and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.